Hey everybody out there in YouTube world, hope you're doing well. Time to uh, hunker down as the storms are a coming in Wyoming. Uploading this video with some pretty good mobile Wi-Fi through Nomad Internet. Link in the video description if you need a mobile internet solution. Getting some TV channels here through satellite. And I am camping in Wyoming, up here on the bluff. My windshield still needs to be cleaned again. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Let's go outside. It's just super windy and stormy out there. I have the best microphone money can buy, and it's going to struggle. <laughs> but in case it does really, really good, this is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus shotgun microphone up here. No, it's not going to work. There's just nothing you can do except not film in windy conditions like this. But I'm going to show you anyway. This is the, it's a two-handed job now, it's so windy. This, this is the view out here. Really, really pretty. Really windy. And this is the calm before the storm because, ladies and gentlemen, is it coming or what? Oh my God, you can actually see, you can see the rain starting to drop and pour over here. That's coming this way. So, 10 bucks a night here, no hookups. Nice views, a secure, safe spot to uh, survive these massive, incredible thunderstorms coming tonight. And maybe I'll share some of that if it starts to happen before it gets dark. For right now, I'm going to stay inside. Looks like you got the same idea, right? I like your thinking. Good plan. I did stop at a thrift store and get a couple Mickey things to add to my collection. Some Mickey Mouse uh, slipper shoes that say Mickey Mouse embroidered on the side. I got Fantasia on VHS. This, I honestly did not know what it was. I took a chance because it was all taped up with tape and a price of three bucks. And I said, I'm going to take that chance because it is definitely Mickey. Well, turns out, if I can figure it out one handed, it opens up and holds stuff like little compartments. I mean, it could be a fishing tackle box. It was probably for like some kind of hobby supplies or something like that. But maybe I can put some Mickey collectibles uh, inside it. Anyway. But if I don't slow down with the Mickey stuff, I'm going to fill every compartment underneath my bed before I even get back to the house this November. <laughs> all right, Eric. Cool it. Cool it. No, I'll just ship a box to Sean's shop every month of all the stuff and pick it up later. You pooping? Looks like you're getting ready to poop. Let me give you some privacy. You gonna think about it for a little bit? Okay, good luck, man. All right, buddy. Yeah. By the way, people ask me about this sometimes. It's the uh, kind of discreet litter box. It's called EcoFlex. It's available on Amazon. I put it together a couple years ago in Yoda, and it's one of my favorite pieces of furniture in here. Really easy to uh, clean and open up. He's like, Dad, I'm trying to poop. All right, go ahead and get your poop on. R really easy to clean. It looks good. It acts as a shelf. Hold some stuff and I like it. Look how dark it got out there. The rain has just began. It's light right now. You can hear some thunder off in the distance too. Are you scared, Jax? You're not scared? I'm kinda okay, well I'm kinda scared. Thunder and all, you know. It'll get ya. It can get ya. Yeah, it's just dark and gloomy out there. We're gonna be okay though. We're gonna weather this storm and get back on the road tomorrow, okay? All right. I just can't get over how dark those clouds are over there. Those look mean. <laughs> All right, and the rain has let up for a second here. The wind is still here. If you don't know me by now from watching my channel, it's, it's important to note that the heat and I do not do well. Sorry for the wind. Uh, cooler temperatures most often means more rain. That's I'm from Washington State, so I know all about that. So I'm more comfortable in these environments, and that's why I'm looking forward to a very chilly summer. Really looking forward to it. <laughs> the sign on the highway said 60 plus mile per hour winds. That is hurricane force winds. But we're gonna get back inside. But yeah, that's the price of a mid-70s for a high summer. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic here or anything. The RV is really rocking. I mean, the stabilization of my camera is going to do a pretty good job, but... Can you hear that? It is so incredibly windy. Wow. Catch you in the morning. Oh, what a glorious morning here in Wyoming. <laughs> Ironically, despite all the beauty around here, last night was a rough one for me, guys. It was like sleeping through a non-stop hurricane. I did not sleep good last night. I know I'm going to end up going to bed early tonight. Usually those high winds go away at night, and they're only there in the daytime. Exact opposite out here in Wyoming. <laughs> it does make it a little difficult to uh, RV in this area, but I knew it was coming. I knew what to expect. I came out here knowing it was going to be really, really windy. So today I'm going to pack up, head up, up into Montana. Forecast is calling for some more rain in Montana. But comfortable temperatures right about 70, 72 for a high today. <laughs> you guys want to come with me and we'll go travel a little bit? Mm -hmm. Are those, those mountains over there? Like, like actual mountains finally? It's been darn near a year. Yeah, not only are those mountains, but I see snow. There's those snow-capped mountains over there, guys. Oh my. If you're not familiar with what it's like driving an RV over these mountain passes over here in the west, it's, uh, it takes some getting used to, to for uh, newbies. I grew up over here. I have crossed these mountain ranges dozens and dozens of times in RVs before. Uh, there's just no rush. There are going to be times when the speed limit is 80 miles an hour and I'm going up an incline 35 mile an hour in second gear, struggling to even make it up. But you will make it. You will just be a lot slower than all of the passenger vehicles. <laughs> Let me pack up a few things, feed jacks. We'll hit the road, guys. Come on, rain. Hold off a little bit longer for me. And then you can rain as much as you need to keep this place green. I have made a stop here in Sheridan, Wyoming, at the Sheridan Rest Area Welcome Center, or AKA RV Friendly Place. They have potable drinking water. They've got a dump station. Uh, I am planning to do some boondocking, so I will absolutely use the free dump station and top off my drinking water so that I can be good for a little bit. I love the Northwest. Well, Wyoming isn't really the Northwest, but uh, nearly 50% nearly of all rest areas in this area of the country have this free dump station. So why would you even go composting toilet? Like, you literally have to dump your gray tank anyway, so having a composting toilet just means you still gotta find a place to carry your poop through your RV and go find a dumpster. Pretty easy to pull a valve at a rest area. <laughs> Pretty easy. Also, one thing I did, and I have to do this sometimes, the, the way the gravel sits, you're actually aimed the wrong way so you can't empty your tank the whole way. So what I do, <laughs> get to places like these, I use my leveling jacks. I have used them only on the passenger side. Not only have I leveled out the RV, but I pushed it a little bit more on manual and tipped it a little more even. So that when I hook up my uh, hose for flushing the black tank, the poop tank, it's really going to be able to empty all the way out this time. I do that about once every couple weeks. No, one, once a month. Once a month I flush out the system and tip the RV so I know it's all clear. So. I'll get done with the poopy stuff, and then we'll get back on the road, head towards Montana. Looks like the sun has set, and it's just getting dark. No, it's just the storm coming. I'm going to turn the windshield wipers on, even though I know the bugs are going to ruin the... Ah, oh, that did not get any better, Eric. Well, if I find a gas station or something, I will uh, wash the windshield once again, just to get a thousand more bugs on it. Kind of hard to see out. <laughs> Let's keep those off. <laughs> oh man. Actually, I forget sometimes when I start editing, I forget that the wide angle doesn't really show all the bugs and imperfections that I see. 
unless you're watching on your super high definition TV, you probably don't see the thousands of bugs, but, but they're there. We're not in the mountains yet, but we're, we have been going like straight uphill for like four miles here. We're finally getting to the top here. I maxed out at 45 mile an hour there. And this is, this is not the peak. It continues to go. At least we're going to be able to hit 50 miles an hour finally. Speed limit here in Montana, not Montana, Wyoming is 80. Wait a minute, what does that sign say? Is that our Welcome to Montana sign? I can't see it. Yes, <laughs> that sign says Welcome to Montana with the horses. It's really hard to see. And same thing, speed limit 80 mile an hour. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's kind of scary because like, okay, you see this hill coming up. 60 now. Woo! Good job, Miranda. But I'm gonna get down under 40 miles an hour and struggling, and then cars are just going to fly by me doing 90 or 100. It's weird out here in the West. I've got 118 miles to go to get to Billings, which is my final destination for the night, so through the magic of editing, we will be there right now. <laughs> We're in Billings. It's still raining. It's beautiful. I'm going to do something that I like to do and many of my viewers don't care for. So check out that enormous Goodwill thrift store. I'm going to find some Mickey stuff. <laughs> I'm going to go have some fun for about a half hour here. Search through everything. Find some hidden treasures. And uh, maybe I'll bring my cell phone in. Show you if I see anything cool in there. It's a huge store and I've never been in there. So... All right. Yeah, it is a huge store, but if you can believe it or not, I just scoured this entire aisle full of toys and there's not one Mickey thing anywhere. <laughs> really surprised me. I'll keep looking. This is a huge store and I was starting to worry, okay? I start getting to the linens and I still haven't found anything Mickey Mouse. I did. I found a Disney Parks exclusive from Walt Disney World Mickey Mouse fleece blanket. Yes, please. Not too bad for $1.99, y'all. This blanket would have been $24.99 in the Disney Park. And now I got something to put on the wall at the house. Maybe like behind the actual shelving units or maybe between the TV or something. But uh, yeah, easy. And it packs away good. Let me scoot on over to where I'm going to overnight park for the night and I'll get back to you. <laughs> Tomorrow it's supposed to be nice. Tomorrow it is supposed to be nicer than today, so got to keep all these trees and grass green. It's all good. I am going to overnight here where I have overnighted before. Cabela's of Billings, Montana has designated uh, RV sites. So uh, I'm going to run into the store real quick, stock up on uh, ammo and Dots pretzels, <laughs> and then uh, we'll get to boondocking in our next video. Sound good, guys? All right, well, thanks for being with me on this crazy traveling vlog once again we're, we're making progress it is 53 degrees outside might have to get a jacket before i go inside actually all right have a good night guys jackson i'll see you really soon bye-bye